So the other thing that I want to talk about briefly on re restaurant reopening before we get into the nine stages that can literally take you step by step to increasing your sales and, and helping to turn the boat around if you're struggling, and if you're not struggling, help to take you to profitability and, and more, is everything we're about to share with you now has nothing to do with your restaurant reopening. And it's just as valid now as it was two weeks ago before you were reopening, just as valid now as it was two months ago as you were told to close. So the real key to being successful today is that as you reopen, you need to be just as focused on all these other core things that are building your business so you can sustain that 30% or 50% or whatever you're allowed in your restaurant. I mean, even Denny's has realized that it costs them an extra thousand dollars a day to operate the restaurant at minor capacity. And they were to the point where everything was going pretty good on takeout only. And then in opening the restaurant and incurring another thousand dollars a day in expenses to have a 30% occupancy restaurant in some states, they've actually realized that they went from paying the bills to suddenly losing a thousand dollars a day because A, the people just weren't coming back as fast as they thought. Mm -hmm. And B, that extra thousand dollars in order to open a, a, a restaurant, they're literally going, well, hey, you know what? We might just start having only takeout at some locations that we just don't get enough people coming in to dine. So even though they're fully allowed to, they're a huge company, they've been around forever, they're starting to go, you know what? Maybe takeout's a better model for this location or that location. So be cautious in thinking, okay, it's reopening, everything's great. You may just find that it cannibalizes your profitable takeout. You may just find that it's harder. So if you keep the other things going and put just as much attention, to me, you now need an equal split. You need to keep doing the takeout and delivery. You need to keep the reopening of the restaurant. You need to keep doing both. You can't say, well, let's put 80% of our energy on reopening and we'll reduce the, the takeout down to 20% of our effort. Be very, very careful. I believe that would be a strategy that's gonna create a problem. And God forbid we end up in wave two where we're shut down again. You really wanna have things in order so that you can you know, maximize your sales if that was to happen. Let's hope yeah. not, but if it does, the things we're about to share with you that others have had success with will get you through a second shutdown. Right, and some of our clients are looking at, no, we're not gonna reopen the inside of our restaurant yet. And we're gonna wait till the end of summer, we're gonna maybe do takeout and delivery, but we're not opening up yet because you know what, it's not financially feasible at half capacity. I've got other things like you know, I got a liquor store that I'm running, uh, so I want to focus on that. Uh, so there's there's reasons why it, why it might not be in your best interest to open up for inside inside dining. Right. And if you're going to open up inside, we're gonna we're we're gonna be sharing some things that allow you to maximize the ability to um, leverage those inside diners into more and more people and more and more sales. Mm -hmm.